Now that the horrific charges have been revealed and Diddy is in prison, many are noticing the silence of Jennifer Lopez. More J-Lo clips are resurfacing. What happened back in that club in 1999? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. Uh, J-Lo has not said anything, not even when the Cassie video came out. And now with the arrest, it's kind of crazy that she isn't saying anything. You'd think... She'd offer something. You'd think she'd say it when Cassie was uh, videos came out, but uh, what is she hiding? Why isn't she speaking? That's the big question I have. These two were together for a long time. In fact, a new clip just resurfaced. A lot of Wendy's Williams clips are coming out, but here's one. JLo's mom was clearly not in a diddy. I was telling you that I could always see you getting back with Puffy in a little way. <laughs> Yes. yes. Or in my mind. Look at me. Look it. Or in my mind, getting Done. together permanently yeah, with well, first Pitbull. Of all, right, Pitbull. It's crazy. Everybody has like everybody came alive. Everybody they all has, had something to say. Yeah, everybody has an opinion. Yes. It's funny to me. So, but all right. So no puffy. But I see no you puffy. and Pitbull. But one of them you write about. No puffy. No puffy. Now she's spoken about puffy. Puffy cheated on her. That was sort of what she'd said. But there was a lot more of this story, guys, that I thought was important of revisiting now with these accusations really charged. And so the charge is so bad that he's still remaining in jail. So let's go through what happened in New York. You tell me if you think JLo has something to hide. If you're unfamiliar, I want to break it down. The history of the New York scandal in a shooting case on December 28th, 1999, uh, Sean Puffy Combs and then J again, uh, girlfriend Jennifer Lopez have been celebrating a soon-to-be-released album by Shine, a.k.a. Jamal Barrow, uh, who's right here. This is that Shine. Uh, in the, mid, uh, in the uh, Midtown Club in New York. Uh, they were leaving when Combs, carrying a bottle of champagne, accidentally jostled one of the club's patrons, knocking a drink out of his hand. The man, Matthew Allen, a street tough known as Scar, responded with a shove. Things escalated. One of Allen's companions allegedly threw a stack of money in Combs's face and shots were fired, leaving three people injured. Combs and Lopez were arrested, fleeing the scene in a Lincoln Navigator with a pew pew in the trunk. J-Lo was quickly absolved. Now, during the trial itself, uh, the trial lasted seven weeks and included 60 witnesses, 126 court exhibits, uh, it was a battle of wills between the Manhattan District Attorney and Mr. Combs, who rejected a plea bargain that required jail time. Although witnesses said they'd seen Combs with the Pew Pew and his driver testified that his boss had bribed him to claim ownership, the legal team, including Johnny Cochran, created enough doubt that Combs was acquitted. I don't know if you know this, Judge, but this person, Jennifer Lopez, is a very famous actress, one lawyer pointed out. To think Mr. Combs is walking around with her with a loaded pew-pew, it's so ridiculous that it stretches the imagination. Is it now? Prosecutor uh, Matthew Bondanos uh, set out to prove that Mr. Combs took advantage of his celebrity from the moment he strode into the club in New York. Neither he nor his members or his entourage were searched as uh, regular patrons would. He also noted that once under arrest, Combs expected the same special treatment from the legal system. Mr. Bogdanos already argued, attempting to influence witnesses through offers to ca of cash, etc. Prosecution witnesses, including the most seriously injured victim, Nat Natania, uh, Ruben testified that Mr. Allen, who goes by the nickname Scar, threatened to kill Mr. Barrow, Shine, who performs under the name Shine. Mr. Ruben, uh, Miss Ruben then said she saw flashes from two shots, one each fired by Combs and Shine, and grasped her face as a bullet smashed into her nose. After two days of deliberations, a jury this evening acquitted Sean Combs, hip-hop mogul, of possession and bribery charges stemming from this incident in Manhattan in 1999. In the end, it was Shine who was served almost nine years uh, for possession, reckless endangerment, etc., though he did so angrily, claiming Combs had sold him out to save his own skin. After his acquittal, Combs changed his nickname to P. Diddy in hopes of putting his past behind him. Again, name change, something he did recently as well, calling himself Love, as he knew all these allegations were coming. The Love Album. Now, fast forward, Natanya Tanya has now spoken out. She is willing to remove the bits from her face to prove it was, in fact, Diddy who shot her. She uh, was one of the victims in the, and said, uh, who better to tell you what happened than the person who got shot smack dab between the eyes? 
She said that she spent the past 25 years trying to get justice for the night. She claims Combs shot her in the face, not Shine. She tells News Nation she doesn't believe Diddy was properly charged, and she continues to fear for her life. She believes she's also putting her life at risk by speaking out at Diddy. Good for her. She did before a lot of others did. I live a simple, quiet, risk-averse life, so if you, if I should meet with an untimely demise, it would require a deep investigation. I understand the peril of what I'm exposing. She remained adamant since the shooting that it was Combs who shot her uh, and that uh, she was facing them when they pulled it and saw Combs do it in her nose. She filed the 130 million lawsuit. There she is right there uh, for compensation against him in 2008 and settled in 2011. Now shine has since defended himself. Uh, he was out there saying in the, uh, I felt I was the fall guy, but he still doesn't blame Diddy in the wake of the allegations from the infamous club in 1999, Jamal Shine Barrow spoke out saying he's the fall guy, but isn't placing the blame on Diddy, probably because he got some money. It opens wounds. Everyone knew all along I was the fall guy. My political enemies tried to make it in, me into the criminal. Everyone knew I took the fall, but he maintained his innocence saying, at all, all this time I was defending myself, I did not shoot them. I maintained that I shot nobody. But he still wouldn't put out the, uh, you know, that Diddy did it. That's what's really frustrating. Now, uh, furthermore, Little Rod uh, opened up about this as well in his lawsuit, which which we have here. Uh, and he opened up that he found explosive, uh, filed this explosive lawsuit, as we know. And he was often bragging about, uh, sorry, I had it here, bragging over and boasting over the fact that he uh, got away with it. That's what he was saying in this lawsuit. Law enforcement tell the Post that the infamous shooting and the trial could potentially be reinvestigated as part of this federal probe, which is now happening. Diddy is arrested. Uh, but they got eyes on him in Miami and the feds are taking a talking to witness after witness uh, who is familiar with the case. They're corroborating everything they can, but everything past and present is on the table. Woo. Uh, so yeah, this is where we stand. Now, Natania has been very vocal. Uh, she has fought back as we know. She's made it clear she'll do whatever she has, even open up her face. And now a lot of other clips of JLo, JLo's mom coming forward about how she would never allow it to her, her daughter to go back with him. As we just saw at the beginning of this video, uh, this idea, could JLo have held the weapon in her purse in that club so he could get it in easier? That's always been the question. What did she know? Why did she get off so easily? Why is she not talking now? Why not express the whole frustration of what you did back then and throw this monster finally under the bus or admit he didn't do it? It's very odd to me that she and so many others are staying silent now that so much is out there. Uh, is she waiting for the guilty verdict? I just think it's a little too late, JLo. Uh, now is your chance as you're trying to rebuild your brand. I know you were together. You had a history. Tell us the truth. I think at this point, it's important you give us something to stand up for the victims uh, and help get put this away? Or are you complicit in it? And is that why you're silent? I, I, look, I don't know. I want to know the truth. And that's why I find her silence to be deafening. But I want to know what you think. Now that you hear the, heard the whole story, uh, tell me your thoughts down below. Make sure you subscribe here. Hit that bell for alerts so you get notified. And when you do, smash the like button, leave your comments, help get the word out on these videos. We will stay on this. No stopping. So as I said, hold on to your butts. Yes!